Hey YouTube, Mark here with another edition of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, it's about time we resurrect this type of uh, video. Um, I know a lot of you wanted me to resurrect it, so here it is. Good, Bad, and The Ugly on the Prada House. Prada. A little bit of background story on Prada. Let's uh, stretch a little bit here. Okay, Prada. Um, not too many men's colognes available from Prada. They they just stepped into the game in the 2000s, uh, so they're fairly new to this fragrance game. Um, they got uh, three designer fragrances available for men. Um, they also have an upper class fragrance um, edition. Uh, maybe a lot of you don't know about this, but they do have a numbered uh, fragrance, uh, one to ten. Um, if you check out the base notes uh, directory. Uh, you'll see these 1 to 10 fragrances. Um, it's kind of like the Hermes line, the Hermes Essence line. Um, kind of like that, you know, you have that designer fragrance that's available for around $100 a bottle, and then there's your upper class, uh, something a little more exquisite, I guess, uh, a little harder to find, like a niche bottle. So um, they have that lineup too, uh, just like Hermes. So uh, very interesting. I'm hoping to purchase a couple of those to see what Prada has available because their designer scents or their scents that are available to um, the consumer, the consumer like myself, um, I'm very impressed with them. Um, all their scents are based on clean, very clean, soapy. Um, so if you don't like that type of scent, don't even look at the Prada house, don't even blink at the Prada house, just keep on going. Um, so Prada has three available. I have all three bottles. We'll take a look at them. I'll tell you what the good, the bad, and the ugly on the Prada house is. Anybody that's interested in diving into this fragrance house, this is a good video for you. So let's take a look at what I have available first of all. Let's take a look at the oldest bottle I have available to me, their number one, or their first fragrance they've introduced to the men line, Amber Put On. Uh, definitely, definitely a winner with me. I really enjoy this fragrance, still do. Uh, then we have Infusion Dome. This is Mr. Clean. It's the king of clean. Still is, still has the crown. And then we got Infusion de Vetiver. And this is clean, a different take of clean. It actually has a little bit of uh, dirtiness to it. They put a little bit of pepper in there, give it a little bit more robust feel. So, the good, the bad, and the ugly on the Prada house. Now, which one is their top seller, most talked about, uh, their most popular fragrance? Which one um, suits that bill? I gotta say, pretty close between two of them but this one right now uh, started it all with Prada, Prada Amber put on. This is their signature fragrance right now. Getting a lot of press, a lot of people love it and uh, definitely their top seller at the moment. As far as my pick, it was close. It was either Amber or Infusion Dome. It was real close. Um, I really love Amber. You can take a look at my video on Amber put on. 10 out of 10. Take a look at Infusion Dome. 10 out of 10 name the best clean scent that I have available in my arsenal. So I had to pick one and the one is this one, Infusion Dumb. Um, I definitely uh, enjoy this. If I'm going for a clean scent, Mr. Clean, gotta go with it. Alright so as far as the most underrated fragrance in this lineup, I gotta go the same guy. Most underrated, underappreciated. Uh, definitely when people go for clean scents, they don't go for this. They don't. And I don't understand why. They go for Muglier Cologne or uh, something else in that genre. And they really don't look at this. Guys, this is the best available at the moment. As far as the worst fragrance in this line, the one that I would say just isn't for me. i got to go with this. Something They switched up their style and that's what happens. Uh, Infusion de Vetiver. Um, I, uh, as far, I haven't had this for a while. It's a clean scent. I don't hate it, but it's the worst out of the three. So, sorry. You just didn't make the cut. <laughs> Alright, as far as the most overrated fragrance in this house, I had to pick one. Um, they're not really overrated. They're really all under the radar, to be honest. Prada's not getting the love that it should get. Nobody's really copying any Prada fragrances. I don't know why, but... Uh, most overrated, I gotta go with this one. Uh, a lot of people are dubbing this as a really amazing clean scent. Um, it is. 
Um, I'm one of them. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Would I give it a 10 out of 10 again? Most likely. A year later, um, this is a great clean scent. Um, it's one of the better ones out there. A little bit of amber put in. Pff, forget about it. <laughs> All right. So this is the Prada line. The good, the bad, and the ugly.